Hi, I'm Philip. I'm a former senior consultant at McKinsey. And today I'll share with you four secrets to ace the case interview. The first one is what you do when you get the case in the first place. When you hear something like, our client is an airline company, profits are going down, what should we do? The first thing you need to do is to define the case. Define what is the problem. Because when you start a case, you are in the dark. You don't know anything about this airline company, its competitors, its customers. You shed light on the problem by defining using three types of clarifying questions. The first one is context. These are questions about situations, both internal or external, that the company is facing. You can ask, for example, this profitability drop, when did it start? Is it recent or is it a long-term trend? And which businesses is the company in? Is the company in cargo? Is the company in maintenance or catering? The second type of questions you can ask is about the scope of the problem. These are questions about what will be included in the study and if there are any limitations to the solution. This means that you can narrow down the solution space by asking questions. For example, will we analyze all the businesses, all the geographies or focus on some of them? Are there any constraints in cutting jobs or outsourcing functions? And the last type of questions to define the problem is about success. What does it mean? What do we need to achieve? And is there a target associated? In this case, is the goal getting back to profitability by how much and when? And besides profitability, does the client have other goals? Like gaining market share or opening new routes? These questions, context, scope, success criteria, they bring light to the case you are solving. They point you into the right direction. It's the right way to start the case. You may be tempted to skip defining the problem because you did a similar case or you believe you know the solution. Don't do that. Remember, you are starting in the dark. So define the problem first and then move on to the second step. Structure the problem using open questions. What is an open question? It's a question that begins with what, how or why. For example, what are the most effective sales channels? Or how can we reduce overhead costs? As opposed to a closed question, which begins with can, does or is. For example, can the company lease additional planes? Or does the client have a loyalty program? These closed questions can be answered with a single word, whereas an open question cannot. And an open question brings much more insight into a problem. So the right way to structure is to design an issue tree and each of the issues is not a topic. It's different when you say tax, that's a topic. And when you say a question, how can we minimize our tax burden? That adds much more insight into the problem. Back to our case, how do we increase profitability for our client? We structure this case with a series of open questions. For example, how can we increase revenues? How can we reduce costs? How can we optimize capital invested? And then we continue further disaggregating the problem with more open questions. For example, on the revenues, how can we increase revenues from passenger travel? How can we increase the number of passengers, the amount they spend? And how can we increase revenues from other businesses, such as cargo, maintenance, catering? On costs, how can we reduce, for example, labor, leases, fuel costs? And finally, on the capital we have invested in the business, how can we minimize capitalized leases, the aircraft we own, the property and equipment, etc.? These open questions are what you need to structure the case and have a framework to analyze it. And when you are analyzing comes the third secret of the case interview, which is connect the dots. Everything you hear in the interview has a flow. So don't break it down into isolated pieces. You need to pick all those pieces together, combine them like the pieces of a puzzle. In our case, imagine we had analyzed a competitive benchmark and concluded that our prices are fair, but we are not selling as much additional services as our competitors. And then we looked into a passenger survey and realized that our flights have convenience schedules, yet our brand awareness is very low. Bring these pieces together. In this case, the company's strength is in the product and the weakness in the marketing. During the case, you will receive more and more information. So it's important that you keep bringing all those disconnected pieces together into a solution to your client. That is when you connect the dots. And the fourth and final secret I will share with you today 
is to add perspective to your recommendation. It's not only about the analytical solution. You need to think about the implementation of that solution. What will that mean? What will be the risks, the implementation barriers that the client will face? Which capabilities and skills will the client need to execute on the solution? And what is the change in mindsets, behaviors, culture that is needed? It's more layers into the recommendation when you add perspective to it. If you practice these four secrets that I shared with you today, you will drastically increase your chances at the interview.